Hey, Pokemon Masters. Uh, we're just arriving uh, back at the business and seeing what's missing, what the damage is. Um, huge shout out and thank you to Bountiful Farmers Market for all the support and the professionalism. I, I still feel really safe here uh, as much as it hurts. Uh, the support of the community and the support of you and uh, of course um, I will do everything I can to ensure we rebuild properly but also rebuild stronger so I just wanted to come in here and show you uh, at least so you guys can see after all everything here was as much yours as it was mine um, so let's do a walkthrough of the shelves and see what you're getting the same first look as I'm getting so let's see what's what's here what's not here and um, we'll hold back our tears so we still have our totems I'll put a little sign while I was away out of town so on this bottom shelf was a row of elite trainer boxes uh at least 10 elite trainer boxes these two shelves uh were full of singles um about three per row and that's the glass display now completely empty the computer's still there, intact. This shelf with this play mat was full of binders. This is where we had our $1 cards, our $3 cards. We also had, um, we had our higher end stuff for all the other card games that weren't Pokemon. So. We had a magic binder just full. I know that when I decided to break apart all my modern decks, uh, all those modern cards, which you guys know are not cheap, uh, those ended up in those binders. Those are now gone as well. Okay, on this shelf, on the very top, we had all our deck boxes and sleeves um, all gone. This was a full shelf, all of card supplies for you guys to use for battling. Um, and that's all gone now. Uh, there was at least six satin towers, at least two satin cubes left, uh, nine uh, regular deck boxes, um, just a bunch of stuff. Uh, there's probably 12 12 sets of sleeves at least it was just like the display we will be able to restock these uh, we have some in our back stock uh, but this is the part that hurts the most this shelf here and the one below it so these two shelves we had spent the past actually one second we had spent the past five years building this business from the ground up but only about two years ago, uh, we decided that we never want to run out of our um, bulk cards ever again. Uh, we spent two years building about 3,600 of each uh, type of Pokemon. Uh, and they were full on there. And I'm sure many of you other shop owners know, those are the hardest to keep in stock. And I don't know if you know what I do at my store, but at the start of every weekend, we choose two types and every single Pokemon fan that comes here gets three free cards of their answer to the question of the week. By the end of the weekend, we've given away about three to 500 bulk cards for free and we had to keep replenishing it every week and that was really challenging and just building that initial stock was a little bit insane 
but I'm not going to give up. We're going to do that again. That's so that's that shelf there. All right. The bottom shelf, we had a box purely of sorted energies. Energies are always free at our store. There is an abundance of energies. Uh, we'll be able to restock those at least. Um, this shelf here had a bunch of play mats on it and um, binder pages, which are still there. They left us our binder pages, thankfully, and more empty boxes. So these are just empty, nothing in there, but they'll be useful for our rebuilding. Uh, and then we go behind here, this shelf here, we had uh, about 12 Bandai Pokemon model kits remaining in stock. Luckily, we just made a deal and actually just finished importing our new shipment. So those didn't hit the shelves yet for the Bandai model kits. Uh, and then below that, we had a shelf full of Funkos, uh, now gone. Um, and then below there were uh, used and new binders for the community. Um, and then now we're looking it seems that the thief was not interested in uh, old dvds and old and vintage video games so they did leave us all of those um, we had a shelf full of comics all that's left is one zip up binder there um yeah so it's just a bit sad to see it this way to be honest not really a crier, but I feel it. Um, we still have our... Still have our uh, Nintendo section there. Um, these are handmade by Boston. Those are still there. Another thing that was stolen was um, 25 bucks. Um, which, uh, with my other business, we do publishing and graphic design. Um, 25 of the first book I ever published. Um, those are all stolen and taken. And, I mean, sure, they have a retail value on it, but I believe it's something that's priceless. This box was loaded with our overflow it was our backstock to restock the hockey binders, the Final Fantasy uh, trading card game stuff. And look, they just left it a huge mess. They left us one pack of Profit. Look at that. I'm gonna have to sort it. It has to get sorted. There's nothing I can do about that. Look at that, they just left a mess. They left me my phone charger. They saw that these were empty. But now we're sold out, we're not even sold out, stolen out of each of the booster packs. Every type. Uh, we're a small enough store that we never really have a back stock of booster packs. So they just got whatever was in the booster boxes that were still there. But we had just about a full booster box of each set. So that's all gone. Um, when I got here, uh, this painting was on the floor. That's Moonlight. That was a gift from someone in the community. Um, I'm not going to say a name unless... I get the go ahead I'll leave it in the info it is beautiful art but um, yeah and th this is the shelf where all the booster packs uh, belong uh, they did leave us our cedar cup and to our champions congratulations but also, thank you for your support and continued involvement in our community. And um, this is our backup 
a cancer society box. We always put 10% portions, 10% uh, of proceeds to CNS and brain cancer research. So this is our backup. This is the one we take to other events. And I did see, oh, let's, um, this one when, when we arrived was in a bit of a mess. Uh, and emptied so we also used it to just kind of clean up um, the market staff were so helpful they cleaned up oh there we go okay so we still have some of the deck boxes and the my parents came and helped the market clean up and it looks like Okay, so there is still some coins in there. So I would believe that if the thief stole any of the money, there's no way for us to know how much was taken from there. But I do empty it weekly. And there was only one weekend of operation before the event happened. So I'll, I'll do my best to, to add to the pot there. And then Arceus was left behind. Uh, they left us our Mario Party. Oh, a couple high-end cards here. Um, we still have some Satin Towers. And some Funkos. So, that's not bad. We still have our um, Team Rocket. Tin. But considering all the shelves were full prior, this is very minimal. Welcome back to the set of where I do the the Mastering the Card series, which I promise we'll get back on track to giving you guys more of that. I'm really excited for the next episode, but everything has to go on hold while we as quickly and diligently as we can rebuild um again thank you so much to the community and to bountiful farmers market staff and administration and the entire vendor community for all the support and outreach i've received um honestly it's it's heartbreaking and even doing this video is, it's tear jerking to myself and just insane that this would happen you'd never expect it to you know you never expect this it's just crazy so um unfortunately i had to stop the video there i was getting a little emotional and uh, i i tried to film more and just couldn't um and uh just wanted to get back here and say a last few words but as you've seen that was basically the whole uh, walkthrough and of you know everything. I tried to include uh, pictures um, of the of the before and after. Unfortunately, completing the bulk section uh, was very recent. Completing the bulk section and actually having them available for people to dig through. That was the newest thing. We have no photos of, of what that looked like. So, first of all, thank you to those who have been regular um, patrons of our store and who've come and seen what that looked like. And I promise you, we'll rebuild that and put that back together for everyone. Um, uh, something else, uh, there was no pictures of what the the video game shelves look like before uh, that's because that's also very new to the store I'm very glad and and um, happy that that's all left there so we can continue with that stage of our journey um, and I know that with uh, the support of the community and and um, my own determination and uh, everyone else's determination to continue this. This project is for everyone. We'll continue to fundraise and support Canadian Cancer Society, CNS and Brain Cancer Research. Um, so 
I just want to extend uh, again a sorry that I couldn't finish the, the on-site recording. I'm actually on my way over there before the weekend and we'll see what we can do to just um, uh, make it a shoppable experience. Uh, with what level little we have there but we gotta move on we gotta reopen and uh this will be our first weekend reopen since the incident um uh again i thank you all for your continued support and i thank the bountiful farmers market for everything um for the entire journey all five years that i've been there just just amazing and um I, there's not much more I can say. There's no more words can say. They took so much. And it's from our whole community they took it. And now it's it's up to us to rebuild it stronger than we can. So, thank you. And I'm sorry.